Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. In the previous episode, we built the AT Ishti, which is an all terrain, eh, salt ish transport, which um, will hopefully be able to assault quite effectively Badoom, which has a huge shipyard and a heavy cannon, which uh, will hopefully serve us well in the future. As you can see, I've got a bomber built. I will go ahead and just check my defenses. Have I got a, a lookout here? I don't, but I am going to say build building and a white lookout and open and we will build the thing right at the back because we can and that should hopefully deter anyone assaulting me here looks like the looks like they're assaulting each other down the bottom here and they're all combining forces and things like that and it's doing the typical airships campaign thing where essentially let me just go to build landship here and build another ATHT um yeah, what happens is the uh, they either gang up on diff uh, other people and then they'll start to form alliances and then basically you have uh, very little option but to attack one big nation, which you can see is not happening. We've got as of... I'm just going to pause a second. Uh, as of now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But this guy here is the biggest one. So... What are the options? Well, we'll take this guy out for a start. Just speed up to max speed here. Looks like finally, this guy's assaulted and managed to take all of that. And that's bad because I think it is important that we invade it. I think we take this, get this foothold now, start taking some bits off him because otherwise we might have a bit of a bother. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move over to there, meet up with the bomber and then we'll attack. There we go. Then invade there. And we'll just keep building up 80-ish T's. But we'll have a big fight here and then we're going to we're gonna move down. So this guy's got telescopes as well, which is useful. So you can see our bomber's got a very high service ceiling. In fact, it's got much higher service ceiling than just this here. But um, these ones uh, don't. But I'm just going to move them back over because right, really they don't need to be, don't need to be too close. Um, probably do that because I can't see that one falling out of the sky just yet. I'll put that one under the suspendium rock just to... Um, actually, just, do I want to protect it? No, let's not do that. That's a bad idea. Uh, probably put it there and then obviously we need to move the pigs but the pigs have quite a high service ceiling so what do I want to attack first well they've got no static defenses so what I'm going to do is have the pigs right at the back because torpedoes are very 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 difficult to use effectively at anything moving and quite frankly I don't think they're really it's not really possible to use them in any real sense be against these vessels here because just how um, just how fast they're going to be. So our best chance, really... Let me just move this bomber up. Mm, looks like it's not going to go up very far anywhere. Yeah, we're just going to have to hope that we can take out these little ones first, which it's not happening at all. Uh, there's the torpedoes out there, but because they're moving so fast, they're just going to fly all over the place. I don't really know what what the plan of attack is for that little one, but you know what? Since they're flying over the top, I'm going to just go down and drop bombs. It looks like I'm going to have to pause a sec here because that's all kinds of bad. Um, the suspendium, one of the suspendium tanks, one of three, has actually exploded and taken out all of the ammo for this thing, so that's pretty much a goner. However, because it's now pushing this down, I need to get this other vessel out of the way before the back end falls off and then, yeah... That happened. So it looks like the worst happened, but we can manage it. Come on, back up. Uh, the bomber's going to try and deal with that. Oh, yeah, that's falling off the sky, but to be fair, it is completely useless at this point. Anyway, it looks like these are bombers. I've just figured out what they are. I'm trying my darndest to... Oh, looks like we're getting boarded. That's all kinds of bad. Bombers don't like getting boarded, and the pigs are going forward because of a wrong selection here. Um, We could lose this fight and lose it quite easily now. Although, there's a lot of explosions on that bomber, but if we lose that cannon, yeah, that's bad. Right, hang on. We could still do this. These guys ram there and flip. I need to get back over. This is now... This can't fly. This has got no weapons. Well, actually... Its weapons are there. Uh, this one is about to explode. There we go. And what I'm going to do is make sure that the pigs move so we've got at least 
a couple of pigs pointing at this thing, and we're going for short range, short range uh, <laughs> launches here. Danger close, that's for sure. Um, get the umbrella out. Oh, is he going for a ram? No, he's not going for a ram. Looked like it though. But these guys are going to have to shoot that one. Move up. Oh, victory. Excellent. Um, brutal takeover, I think. That was not something I expected, quite frankly. I thought we were going to lose that one. Anyway, a build land ship. Another ATHT. Let's see what they've got here. Still loads of defences. I mean, I could try and sabotage it. Eh, failed to destroy the fort. I thought I'd give it a go. 8% garbage, but you know. Looks like we were assaulted ourselves. Let's go for defences, and we ain't got one. But we're going to say build building. Ah, oh, we got no money at all for that. In terms of money, we're still getting uh, plus 193. They've recovered from the war. Because it's on Breezy Easy, it's not too bad. I'm quite liking the change of pace. It means that we can design stupid things or things that we know that are not totally optimal. We're not making the meta builds uh, and still have fun with it. I quite like that. Uh, we do need to repair these guys, which won't take long because the pigs are very, very cost efficient from what they are. Uh, to be honest, I think the pig design with just a better cannon on it would probably work. Uh, not a better cannon, but rather um, probably... Probably something that can take out. Probably something that can take out moving vessels is the way to go. But I really like the torpedoes in the game, so <laughs> there's that. Uh, that's got a large shipyard, so I might as well go for actually defenses. Build building. We'll just build a white lookout, and that is a fairly decent way of securing your your border, really. You've got a white lookout. Yeah, good luck for them when it comes to attacking. We're probably going to use these... Probably going to use these 80... Uh, do you want to put another one? 80-ish In a group of four. Because then we're canon to film, I believe. I think, was the four in episode five? Uh, oh, the con oh, they try to sabotage it. Or did they sabotage it? No, we're still building it. That's fine. So, build land ship. 80 ish -tees. Problem is, we're building it in a medium shipyard, and as soon as it's built, they're completely useless, like once if they've assaulted this and won it. Uh, and I don't think taking on giant bees with them is going to work out entirely in our favor. <laughs> Who would have thought? In fact, that's pretty much what killed it in the film. Wasn't it? The, uh, the snow speeders. Right, we'll go for build ship. We're going to go for a Bombard. Bombard's a really good vessel. I really like Bombards. They seem to do their job adequately. So, we now have these made. What? If I if I attack them now, I've got one, two, three, four, five things to fight against. They've all got the light, heavy cannon. And, yeah, there's no way, no way that I'll be able to defeat that. Okay, um, I'm going to build ship another bombard. You know what? This is actually where torpedoes would have would, would work out very well. What I'm going to do then is move the pigs over here. And as soon as the... Oh, and they're coming to attack me with whatever they've got, which, quite frankly, I'm not too worried about. And it's cannons. And I have a white lookout and... Uh, white lookout and associated... Mini lookout with three flak. It's not a mini lookout. I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's called a black citadel. See, I would call this a lookout and that a citadel. But what do I know? It's getting close. Why is it getting close? Is it a boarding vessel? Or is it just trying to get... I think it's just trying to get... In the... Best place to be. But that doesn't seem to be the best place to be. Because that's currently on the floor and on fire. Yeah, that didn't work out too well for them, did it? No. No. Victory. Right, so those have now met up and invade. Here we go. So we're attacking with the flying pigs as well as the walkers, which I will now proceed to... Actually, they do look 
pretty naughty when they're like that. Let's put all these down the bottom like that and that. And hopefully these won't be shot too much. Actually, what we'll do is we'll space them out. And this one can cut point. Uh, and the rest are okay where they are, I think. Okay. There we go. There's the shot straight away. Um, already lost the weapons on this. So that isn't entirely what I wanted. So I'm just going to say ram and we'll walk over the top. Yeah, that, that blew up. Um... That yeah, doesn't work. Right, maximum firepower. Target that one there. Oh, no, 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 the weapon's fallen off and now it's blown up again. Okay, so these are terrible. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought? Well, we we thought that, actually. Uh, we can't even move that one now because there's no bridge. Who would have thought putting loads of big weapons um, on the front of a vessel and then putting the bridge above it was a bad plan? <laughs> They are terrible in every way. They really are absolutely garbage. Look outside. Outside view. I mean, is it just... Ah, is it the wrong armor that I've put on? That might be the thing. Did I put wall on it or did I put armor? Either way, you know what? This... this it's... It's indomitable. It's just charging forward and it's not stopping. It doesn't really care. As you can see, it's it's just going forward, which is useful. Um, you can target that one now, please. Shots at the back here have been working out. I mean, look at that. It's just walking forward. I would love to do the same things with these guys, but uh, we sort of can't. And, oh, look at the state of that. Right, move the pig forward. <laughs> yeah, I can't walk them forward because they've got no heads, so we just made a horrible pyramid. Hmm. Right, there might have to be a version 2 of this one. Version 2 being, um, probably not under command. Why is it not under command? It does have a bridge. Uh, version 2 being, um, hopefully better. So we could still lose this fight. Because we're running out of ammo for the, for these guys. So I'll put them on aimed fire. Hoping that we'll get some decent hits in. I mean, we just want one of these torpedoes to hit in a fairly decent area now. I mean, that's some lead time on these shots. There's, a, there's a, probably a two or three second lead time for the big cannons and the torpedoes. I mean, they've got about a <laughs> they've got about a 15 second flight time on them. Should target this bottom one because there's oh no that's still in that's still in uh, in play come on come on explode now there nope didn't do that right there right there that's where we need to go there there not there not not there this one this one no no it's going the wrong way um I think we're coming close oh there it is this is the one yes but we're almost out of ammo I think there's only a couple with uh, there's only a couple with armament left. In fact, the silence is sort of golden. Although, this one at the top here is currently is currently not within a not in a targetable place, so I also do have the ability to start ramming things with anything that is out of ammo. Including this one, which will go up there. This one will go up to there. Uh, this one will go to there. And we will start ramming them into buildings. Oh, victory! Uh, oh yes, there we go. One managed to hit there. Right, so that was going to be a brutal takeover. We've now managed to um, <laughs> take over the island. Um, yeah, we'll probably probably repair those and repair those and they're not, they're not great at all. We do have the bees, which we will probably attack with in a moment. And the problem we have is that uh, we spent a lot of resources making things that are not entirely good. And when I say that, I mean the absolute garbage in every form. Although, probably repairing them is a good idea. Let's just go over to uh, menu and quit the game because those are terrible. No, no, what we'll do is we'll check... Um, oh, it looks like the looks like repair stacks now, which is good. We'll go to design landship. Open the design of the Ishti armor. I went with um, steel armor. 
So it's HP 45, 12 and 6. Steel wall is just worse in every way. Reinforced wooden armor is pretty good as well. No, I think that was okay. It's just that blows up when, when you look at it. So I'm going to change this up. Uh, firstly, I'm going to try and... Um, I don't know. Probably get rid of the bridge. And... I was going to put the bridge there, but that, be, that would be even that would be one of the worst places you could put it. I'm going to put that there, and the bridge can go there. And if I go to pathing, yes, if the breach there, they're not going to be able to come down to there. So that's that's a better choice there, I think. Um, that's not what I wanted. I want to be able to fill that. Okay, so what do we want here? Is that cannon good? No! No, it is not. It does not work. So we're going to redesign the front end. It's not terrible, but it's not good. So we'll probably shrink it down a bit. Um, and make it a bit more like it is. That ammo is always a problem, but it never actually went up. The next state, it was just the weapons. What sort of weapons can we put on? Aerial torpedoes is my normal default option, but maybe something... A bit better. What's that there? A heavy turret. Ooh. 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 Now you're talking. Um, that's a heavy turret. Ooh. Oh, it's even got the right shape. No, we can't. No, we can't. It is actually a turret that goes on the top. So it wouldn't work. It just wouldn't look right. Because we'd have this bit here. We're okay. Even better, though, we could fit it on the top. Uh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now we're, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Um. Make our own design. Something that isn't terrible in every way. Well, it still might be terrible in every way, but hopefully it'll be slightly less terrible. In some ways. Right. Okay. Um. So. We need to. Pull that forward to there. We need to have. We need to get rid of that. Pull that forward to there. This needs to. I think we need a. A walkway maybe. Because currently the only way up is. There. Maybe get rid of that. Go to resources. Call one, two. Call like that. And then. Oh, that's wrong. Uh, do we have a corridor? We do need a corridor. Doesn't get access to this now. Right. Okay, there we are. So we got a slightly bigger cannon on the front now. <laughs> it's also going to be so tall it can't it can't shoot anything. It's it's terrible. I know <laughs> I know it's garbage. I know that this is not the way to go. But you know, you, someone gives you a massive. Um, I mean now it's just going insane. Now we're just going completely off the wall. You you get you have the option for a heavy cannon. If you don't pick it, you just you're not making the right decision. Ooh, even better. Look at that. Yeah, we're just making the same mistakes as we did last time, but uh, eh, we'll try it out. So, slope forward, slope there, slope there, and then we'll just fill a block it up. There's your filler blocks. Decoration. Actually, not paint. Fill, and let's try and. Oh, now it looks. Now it looks badass. Yeah, we're going to go with that one. And decoration. It was, I believe, a pr yeah, probe there. Right. And tank there. Job done. Rename AT. Um, uh, Ultra and Assault Transport. It's not a transport. Um, Ultra in GP. It's a gun platform. Okay. Save design. 
Save. Cool. Not going to build one. No point. No point over there. We're sort of done with them. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And, oh, that's a shame. That's not the way. Yes, yeah, selecting uh, deselects it, doesn't it? Let's repair all those. Where are they assaulting? They're not. They're just going back and forward, back and forward. Right. Well, we're gonna have to. Use, we're gonna have to use those in ang in anger, aren't we? So, um, actually, oh, one thing, one thing. We should probably design a land ship. Open that uh, GP, and then go to Command and Crew. We have a telescope now, which we could put on. Well, we could put in multiple places. The problem we have is that we can't fit a. Um, can't fit a put it like that. Yeah, we can't fit a crow's nest on it because of the way it works. You would have to have the crow's nest up there, and um, yeah, you just, there's no option for it. Right, that's a bit better. So decoration. Oh, it's, it's also not got the right armor. So it's a good job I went back and did this anyway. So fill that color. Armor. Reinforced wooden armor. Nah. Difficulty navigating terrain? Yeah, no it doesn't. Sorted. Right, let me put that... Let me put that, um... Decoration back on that probe. I also haven't got a flag on this either, but I'm not too bothered. Tanks on there. Probe. There we go. Save design. Save. And overwrite it. Okay, not gonna build it, because... Actually, no, we can build it here. We can build it. Okay, build land ship. GP. Build. So, over here, just checking all the pigs are repaired. They are not, so I will set them to repair. They're really expensive to repair. I wonder how much they are, these pigs. I don't really know. Um, so, one, two, three, four. These can move to there. Um, one, two, three, four. Move to there. One, two, and move to there. So we've split up the... Uh, actually, no, no, no. We want to move back to there. We've split up the... Um, the two things there. Um, I will scrap that bit, because it's terrible. I'll repair that, and I will scrap that. Build building, Black Citadel, and we'll put it further forward to there. Right, we're just uh, shoring up our defences around here, you see. So now we've got these transports on the go. Should be all right. What I want to do is just make sure that we have defenses in the places we've taken. Just because we don't want it ninjured by someone coming along and just take it straight away. Ninjuring me in the technical term of uh, something being whipped out from under you, which can include, in this particular case, a big city. So Marshville has recovered from its um, revolt. And I think, do you really want to attack the bees with these things? Oh dear. Well, move back to there, and let's see what we can do. I don't think this is a good idea. But that's never stopped us before. Start the fight! Ah, there's the bees. Not the bees! The bees are coming! Um, yeah, they're bees. They are. Oh, boarding bees. Uh, fleet, fleet, run away, run away. <laughs> right, okay, the bees actually go inside and attack you. That's something we now know. <laughs> okay, there's an easy way to get around this. Uh, build ship, bot fly, it's got flat guns. Sorry, it hasn't got flat guns, it's got, um... It's got grape shot cannon. Yeah. Right, so that's built there. That's fine. Building the bot flies there. We're going to build another land ship. And how much is the GP? It's two grand. It's a little bit cheaper than the other one. And I think better. But I mean, we haven't used it in anger yet, have we? So build land ship. That's the wrong one. Build land ship. We'll try the GP. We want, to tr we want at least a couple of GPs. Um, 
and we'll build a couple more bot flies, which are really cheap as well. But they should hopefully be able to take out the bees coming in and the um, the eighty ishtis will be able to fire from long range. I mean, there's still a lot of them. There is still a lot of them. So while those down the bottom are building, I'm just going to see if we can take out the bees. And, oh, it's going to be a night fight. Right, so move these right at the back. They have to go as far back as possible. Because, obviously, you want to get as much distance between us and the bees as we can. And I'll put these in a bit of a line. Start the fight. So there's the flat. There's the shots coming out there. And hopefully... Are the bees are the bees getting attacked? Yes, they are, look. See, the bees are getting shot. The bees are dying because of the grape shot and the rifles. I mean, still not lords. But... They are still working. I think we're going to lose this one. Now, I'm only assuming, but I don't think bees will be able to crew this. I think they'll be able to destroy it. They won't be able to. Or they'll, they'll take out all of the crew, but they won't be able to... Uh, they won't be able to crew it, because bees are not known for their mechanical ability. I mean, they're great builders and fantastic creatures, but... I don't think they can operate a steampunk land ship. Also, because we do have defences, we managed to take them out. So that's... I think that's a win. I think that's a win. So I'm just going to take all of these and put them on aimed fire. Because it's generally the way to go. Uh, obviously, no targets for the torpedoes because we're... Ooh, there's a dragon, I think. Yes, it's a dragon in the background. So yes, we're just taking out the, the, the hive. Which, the hive does float, I should point that out. As you can clearly see. Uh, so we're going to move these. Do you want to move them closer? I don't know if we want to move them closer. Maybe for grape shots. There's no reason why we cannot. There you go. Uh, it doesn't tell me how much health they've got. I also don't have any option to board. Nor would I, quite frankly. So they're just firing away there. There is a little box around it. So I've, I don't know. There might be some, there might be internals that I'm aware of. I'm just going to speed up to max speed. Because eventually it's just going to go splop and... Uh, drop out of the sky. In fact, it is slowly going down now. Which means that the torpedoes are now getting launched at it. Which really is a death sentence for it. As hives go, it doesn't have to take a beaten. Yes, that is definitely taking a beating. I have no idea what they've made this thing out of, but we're running out of ammo. <laughs> We're running low on supplies. Oh, there we go. And it breaks. Victory! So, um, the last bee... Uh, the last bee's like twitching around the ground and your men are busy hacking the cells of the fallen hive, extracting every last drop of float honey, that dangerous delicacy. Six grand gained. Wow. Six grand. That's not entirely a... It's not a small amount, is it? Wow, that's okay. Okay, build land ship. GP, build away. Go, go, go. And we'll see. Should we use these in anger? I think we'll use them in anger, but that would be next episode. So, we've tried the 80 Ishtis, and they don't entirely work. Um... In that scenario, they did because they were assaulted by the bees and then managed to take it out. I think being spotted by the bot flies did help, though. And then we managed to... Well, basically bombard long range and take it out, which is exactly what we hoped they would do. It obviously helped that we weren't getting shot back, which could be said for everything in the game. But we hopefully have made improvements, and we now have a couple of the GPs, which have uh, a bigger cannon on the front and a really big cannon on the top. So next episode, we will go to Send Spy. Well, I'll send it now, and we'll uh, see what the deal is with that one and see if we can... Uh, <laughs> See if we can um, assault that. But as always, hope you have enjoyed the video on the series thus far. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>